this is the morning of day six. So last night was the first night where I experienced a little bit of discomfort. Um, I am noticing that my cheeks are um, not reacting. And I wondered if it's because I am a side sleeper and so I'm sleeping on the side of my face. And so even throughout the night as I toss and turn, I don't have the aquaphor on this side of my face. And I don't know if it's, if I, if that has anything to do with it or it's just that I don't have damage there or if that's going to come out later. But those are some of the questions that I am uh, wondering. Um, I'll come in a little closer. I'm not noticing any new areas. Um, I'm just noticing that it's becoming tender. Uh, the videos and the research I've done is that a lot of people were reacting more after they've stopped the treatments. So today is Monday and I will go to the doctor on Friday and then that's when she will examine my face and let me know if I am finished with the treatments and then I will begin the recovery part, which I don't know how long it will take me to recover, but I will continue to document that. So it's um, about 8 p.m. on day six. I'm going to apply my night cream here before I hop in bed. And I'm not looking forward to putting this on tonight. Um, it hurt putting it on this morning. It didn't hurt showering. I went ahead and took a shower and I went ahead and fixed my hair before I got it all greased up. Um, I'm hoping I can keep my hair from getting any of the aquaphor in it tonight while I sleep and, you know, maybe just wash my face gently and pat it um, in the morning. It's uh, really becoming difficult to touch. So one thing that I've been doing that I think has been beneficial is I take a Q-tip and I just put like a barrier of aquaphor inside the crevices of my nose here and apply it on my lips. And that is just to kind of form a barrier of where I don't want to get the um, medication. So maybe that might help someone. Go ahead and apply it. Um, uh, it's, it's very difficult to touch the area. This is so tender around my cheeks. Uh, and below my jawline is really tender. It's interesting that I, I don't seem to be breaking out above my lip. And as I pointed out this morning, the sides of my face. So this is the right side. Mm. So I just do a thin layer pretty much everywhere. And then I wait 30 minutes for it to soak in and then I apply the aquaphor, aquaphor. and it, I'm starting to get that tingly burn feeling right around here and this area. The forehead, I don't really feel any tingling or burning. It just hurts when I to touch it. So I think I've gotten it all. And uh, I'll go ahead and upload uh, today's video and continue to document the process.